So more on the Tanaka Orta situation. When I spoke about this uh, sexual assault um, accusation the other day, the article was all in Spanish, so I didn't really have all the details. Well, now it's been translated. I'm getting this information from the MCU Direct. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to give my overall thoughts at the end. You please subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys got all notifications turned on so you know when more videos drop. A lot of y'all don't have them on. Turn them on now. Let's get into it. So Marvel star Tana Kuarta, who recently betrayed Namor in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, has been accused of sexual assault online by Mexican saxophonist and renowned activist Maria Elena Rios. In a series of public tweets, Rios attempted to, dis to distance herself from Padre Prieto an organization focused on combating racism in Mexico, of which the Black Panther 2 star is a member. In one tweet translated from Spanish, she claimed Huerta to be a violent and sexual predator and that the organization allegedly pursued her in order to avoid scandals over their Marvel movie. This is a quote. I made it very clear to them when I left their sect that they protect the violator and sexual predator of Tanakh Huerta, that they not publish anything about me. They still went to look for me at a hypo hypocritical ball concert to avoid scandals over their Marvel movie. Now, that's from the saxophonist woman. Rios continued in a follow-up tweet saying it is difficult to discuss the abuse of power of, of a sexual predator who is loved for playing a character in a movie and claimed to Ertha was a charming was charming in appearance and a narcissist. This is an, another quote from her. It is very difficult to talk about the emotional abuse and abuse of power of a sexual predator who is loved in the world for playing a character in a movie like Tanaka Ertha. Charming in appearance the great hallmark of a narcissist, plus a good helping of victimization, end quote. The activist did not go into detail about her claims, but did respond affirmatively to another user on Twitter who asked whether Huerta had assaulted her, saying there are, se quote, several more. As reported by Mexican outlet Reforma, the accusations against Huerta began after Rios claimed Padre Prieto published a, pub, pub, published a podcast episode that she was a part of without paying her. This is another quote. They do not have consent to disseminate a material, um, a material that they did not want to pay me and that like this in several they exploited me to work for them for free. The organization responded on Twitter saying it could not pay you for something that is not our production. Quote, this is a quote from the, the organization. We await the right of reply. We are accused of not having paid you for this podcast. We cannot pay you something that is not our production and we didn't publish it. Only that content was recommended as we recommend content almost every day. End quote. Huerta is yet to publicly respond to the claims made by Rios. The actor recently made his MCU debut in Black Panther 2 and was rumored to be returning for Avengers Kang Dynasty. The accusations come soon after another Marvel star, Jonathan Majors, was arrested and accused of assault in March. So that's basically what they're saying. It's coming off like... And I'm sorry if I'm coming off if I'm coming off insensitive, but it sounds like this uh, woman Elena was, you know, she appeared on a pro a, plug, a podcast. There's some, you know, it's unclear. It was some beef, and then she she uh, I guess with Tanaka Warta, and she left the organization, and she didn't want them to put out the podcast with her in it. She didn't want them using her likeness, basically, which is standard for a lot of entertainers and the such. So she didn't want them using her likeness, and I guess they used it anyway, and that's why she's coming out and saying all this stuff now. A Twitter user did ask her if it was her that was assaulted, and she. She wasn't really clear on that. She just she made a claim that there's a bunch of women. That's basically what I'm getting from this, that there are women. So it, it may not be her that was assaulted, but she may be, you know, connected to the person that's claiming these assault, uh, this assault charge against Tanakh Huerta. So it, this is just messy, man. Tanakh's going to have to come out or have his legal team come out and speak on this. You know, it could be looked at as, oh, this girl was bad. She wasn't paid. So she's coming out and saying all this stuff. But it seems like she was willing to be quiet about the situation when she left the organization. And it wasn't until 
she saw them using her likeness for her, for their podcast that she's speaking out. So this story is updating. I will continue to update you guys as more information comes out. You know, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you is this enough for you to make a judgment or do you need more information? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember, innocent until proven guilty. Tanak Water has not spoken out about this. Let's wait to hear his side and get the full picture of the story before we judge. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, and make sure y'all got all notifications turned on, gang. I got some more videos coming out soon. I got a video on Two-Face joining the Batman, Matt Reeves, the Batman sequel. I want you guys to check that out. And like always, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, PB3G. I holla, gang.